Hey, what's going on gamers? As you know, this is going to be another review, but there's some confusion going around with this game, so let me help you guys out and clear some things up for you because apparently there's not too much info on this on the internet. Saints Row Get Out of Hell is in the expansion to Saints Row 4. However, you do not need Saints Row 4 to play this game. You can actually download this for $20 as a standalone game, or you can get the re-elected version, which is Saints Row 4 and Get Out of Hell combined in one package for $50. Because you guys seem to be a little bit confused, there's not too much information on the internet explaining that, so hopefully this will help you out. Now, let's get into this review of Saints Row Get Out of Hell. I hope there's not something ridiculous like a hundred of these to find. Saints Row Get Out of Hell The story Saints Row Get Out of Hell takes place after the events of Saints Row 4, literally right after these events. The leader of the Saints is kidnapped and you, Johnny Gat, along with Kinsey Kensington, must enter hell and save him from Satan who wishes to marry off the leader of the Saints to his daughter Jezebel. This is bad timing. Controls. The controls for this game feel very similar to any other Saints Row game that you may have played, except this one strays from the pack and goes in a whole nother direction of originality, giving you the ability to fly. Right away when you start the game, you're introduced to your environment and you're introduced to this ability. Once you learn this ability, you'll have to learn how to correctly control yourself which takes little to no time at all once you learn how to do this you may never want to get in the car again or traverse the depths of hell in a way that you would have done in any other saints row game this is a great new feature amongst others that were added to the game that makes this one very much original and unique from the rest this being an expansion and all is quite surprising to see such a difference in a game like this for it to be just a dlc expansion or add-on to something that was already out this is a very unique and original feature added to Saints Row and it's pretty dope and something I enjoy. The controls are very smooth, there's more added to it, more to do, more fun to have. No complaints here guys, you'll enjoy it. What if they wanted to torture you, why'd they use the short version of the song? This is the short version? Oh yeah, the wife was on the bus, go switch, switch, switch. The old boy on the bus goes, hey, hey, hey. Features. There's tons of new features added to this game, one of which I already mentioned, which was the flight mechanics. There's also a co-op system returning, but what makes this co-op system better than the rest is that this time you get to play with Kenzie Kensington, and it's kind of cool to see some of the supporting members from previous Saints Row games coming to the forefront and putting in some work. It's dope when you see something different happen, and this game has quite a bit of the fan service you would have liked to have seen in other games along with some dope new superpowers and new mission types but also what makes this game funny is because it's the theme of hell you also have the seven deadly sins and you have weapons that mock this and they have the ability to do this to other demons there's tons of features in this game but those are some of the ones i thought were enjoyable and noteworthy of mentioning brought you to this inferno to teach you about the power i have granted you cold fire is an aura which means you must activate the power and get close to an enemy before they will feel the cold embrace of the Stygian. Graphics. The graphics on this game are honestly good. I've seen better and expected better, but this being a cross-gen game, I've come to realize when you see that in the title of something that you're gonna have to expect some of the current gen stuff to be held back by that. Now, don't get me wrong, I've seen better, but I've also seen worse. This game's graphics are not by far bad, I just would have expected a little bit more out of it. If you want to get the best out of this game graphically, you may want to consider getting the PC version and playing it in max settings as I have actually seen a complete difference in the textures 
and things of that nature. Now, as far as effects go, there's slight differences, but not nothing to make you feel like you needed to get the PC version. If you get this for a next gen console, you'll be fine there compared to PC or last gen. But if you had a choice between the three, I would say make last gen your last cho choice because that one is the least appealing of the three. The bottom line with this game graphically is the graphics are up to par for current gen. However, they focused on fun in this game and that should be more important. So for me, the fact that they focused on what was important in this game, I won't knock the graphics too tough. However, honestly speaking, I did expect better. But like I said, I've seen much worse and I don't want to make this sound like these graphics are bad because they're far from bad. The graphics are pretty good overall. Look at this. Kinsey Kensington and Johnny Gat driving together on a birthday adventure. Are you always this excited? Generally, I'm a misanthrope. I get it. Overall, straight off the top, I'm gonna say for an expansion, this game is actually great. This year already seems like the year of great DLC expansions. Now, you can actually buy this game as a standalone game all by itself, and it feels exactly like that. It feels like it's actually Saint Row 5. For this game to be a DLC expansion, it's totally, totally surprising because it actually feels like it should be Saints Row 5. They focused on what's important in this game and that was having fun. The graphics are pretty good, they're not the best like I said before, but it's nothing to strike the game down and make you not get it. Now, should you buy this game as my overall review, it really depends. The campaign is anywhere between 6 to 8 hours and can last longer depending on if you want to get 100% of course. But this game focuses on co-op. If you and a friend want to play this game in co-op mode, I could see this lasting a little while longer, but the question of should you buy it actually depends on do you mind playing the game over because let's be honest, after the campaign is done, what do you do? Once you play with a friend, what do you do? So that's really up to you. Should you check this game out? I definitely 100% think you should. They did a very good game with creating this game and making it something different instead of it being the same old Saints Row over and over. You should be used to Saints Row reimagining itself with every title, and this leads to the same track record of reimagining Saints Row in a whole nother way. For this to only be $20, it's a pretty good steal. You can also get the re-elected edition for $50 as well. Should you check this game out? I definitely think you should. With the campaign being so short, should you buy it? I think you should. It's only $20, guys. You really should buy the game. Overall, I rate this game a 7 out of 10. It's your boy Jimmy B Gaming, and I'm out. was cracking g that's g as in gamer of course thank you for watching my video i see you made it to the end i just want to say i appreciate all the interaction you guys have been showing me all my new subscribers and all my day one subscribers if you're new to my channel of course please subscribe at the button below if you see a video and you want to click on it please do so right now to the left or the right of you anyway this is jimmy b gaming i appreciate the view i appreciate the love i appreciate the support and i'm out